All right, happening also at this hour, prosecutors are expected to show a San Francisco judge some new evidence during a preliminary hearing for a suspect, Nima Momeni. He is accused of fatally stabbing Cash App founder Bob Lee in April. Prosecutors will need to prove that they have enough evidence to go to trial. Here to talk more about the case, criminal defense attorney and fed former federal and state prosecutor Duncan Levin. Uh, thank you for being with us. So take us through what we can expect in a preliminary hearing in this case based on the evidence that's been made public. Sure. You know, a preliminary hearing is somewhat unusual because oftentimes prosecutors will take cases at this stage and indict in secret. And there are a lot of reasons for it. They don't want to preview all of their evidence to the defense and have the defense have an opportunity to cross-examine their witnesses. So on some level, this is unusual to begin with. But, um, you know, this is a case where everybody's watching it because a lot of the details about the events leading up to the killing are still pretty unclear. And, and I, they will be revealed during the preliminary hearing. And so we are all waiting to see what details emerge. We do know some things. We have some video of, of uh, uh, Lee uh, calling 911 and seen attempting to flag down passing cars for help before collapsing. But we really don't know a lot about what led to the altercation between Lee and Momeni. Um, we know they spent time together before the incident, but we really don't know what led to it. And so this is going to be the first time the public hears about what evidence the prosecutors have and don't have um, and it's going to all unfold in open court. And what do you expect from his defense as a defense attorney? What will be their strategy? I mean, this is a case that is basically going to revolve around self-defense. Um, and uh, also the, the uh, former attorney for Momeni has uh, suggested that not only was the stabbing in self-defense, but that the quality of the video uh, leaves a lot to uh, be uh, uh, disputed, and also that the police investigation was really not up to par. At this point, um, I wouldn't expect much from the defense. It's, it's unusual for the defense to lay out any kind of um, actual, specific, factual defense at this point, because the they're just discovering themselves what the prosecutors have and don't have. And so they want to basically admit what they can't deny and deny what they can't admit. That's, that's really what their goal is. And so while we know a little bit from the lawyer about what kind of defenses there'll be, self-defense, shoddy police investigation, shoddy quality of the video. We'll know a lot more as months progress um, because they want to keep all their options open to them. Right. So this is more about the prosecution and based on the evidence we know publicly, do they have a strong case here to take this to trial? We don't know. I mean, that's that's really the thing. I mean, nobody really knows how strong it is at this point at all. We don't know. Um, other than the video, we know they were together. We know he was stabbed, but we don't know if it was a self-defense case, and, and we don't know what led up to it. And so I think until we know these things, um, we're all just speculating as to how strong it is or not. And so... Um, once the preliminary hearing unfolds and this all uh, comes out into open court, I think we'll see much stronger statements from the defense about um, attacking the prosecution's case. Right now, um, this is really just an opportunity for the defense to sit back, listen to what the prosecution has, and get their opportunity to cross-examine some of these witnesses for the first time. So it's an unusual opportunity for the defense at this early of a stage to try to um, cross-examine witnesses and understand more about what's happening and get the evidence that is probably going to be used at the trial. Yeah, another chilling case uh, and still many big unknowns. Uh, Duncan Levin, criminal defense attorney and former federal and state prosecutor. We'll be watching this together. Uh, thank you for your perspective. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.